So in this video, we're going to be talking about Candy Technologies versus NEO. Uh, the stock and, you know, the comparison. I think, you know, just if you compare Candy Technologies to NEO, it seems very undervalued, but then people are like, oh, NEO has the battery swapping station. So does Candy Technologies. A according to this video, it says, Candy Technologies 2020 pan quick battery exchange. So they pan the technology. So in theory, uh, Neo is copying Candy because Candy can't. I, I don't know. I haven't done too much research into this. I just ran across this video. But as you can clearly see, that the battery swapping technology exists in the Candy cars. So not Neo is it's not just an exclusive to Neo. And uh, uh, like, unlike uh, Neo, Candy does their own manufacturing. So Neo relies on a third party to do the manufacturing. Candy does their own manufacturing. So, and then Candy is now selling in the United States, while Neo is not. Neo is not selling in the United States. Why? I have another video coming up on the weekend on why Neo is not selling in the United States and Candy is. So yeah, as you can clearly see, you know, Candy has that technology and, and the biggest difference is Neo is worth $16 billion and Candy is worth $413 million. Why is this scenario? Simply because Neo has a lot of big money backing them. While Candy doesn't, it's it's just that simple at the end of the day. Because when you have a sixteen billion dollar market cap, you have billionaires, hedge funds, and institutional investors in your company. Maybe they see something in Neo that they don't see in Candy. Candy does have some lawsuits on it, but if you, if you remember back in the past when Neo uh when Neo crashed all the way from, you know. Ten dollars all the way down to a dollar. They were getting lawsuits on them. Why? Because they they canceled out the uh, factory. They were gonna build a factory and manufacture their own vehicles, and then they, they decided they didn't. They're not gonna do that, and they're gonna rely on third party. The stock crashed all the way down to a dollar fifty one. Now, you know, for some strange reason. Uh, the stock is getting pumped up all the way back to 1377. So, yeah, I don't know at the end of the day what Neo stock's gonna do. I do have some put options on Neo because I thought that in, I thought you know in the short term it'll pull back, but I could be wrong and it could skyrocket and continue to move up higher. I don't control the stock at the end of the day. I'm just saying that personally, I think Neo is overvalued. If you compare it to candy, if you compare it to candy, but if you compare it to Tesla, then it's undervalued. So it all depends on your perspective of where do you want to value te Neo. Are you gonna value Neo compared to Tesla, or you want to value Neo to candy? Candy makes cheaper cars. That's granted. Neo makes luxury cars and faster and better cars with better battery range. But Candy, they sell they, they they sell more to the mass market because their cars are cheaper, and they max and they manufacture their own cars, and look at that, they have a PE ratio, Neo, there's no PE ratio for Neo, so yeah, it's just Candy is undervalued in if you compare it to Neo, but if you compare it to Tesla, it's undervalued compared to Tesla and Tesla stock right now is hit almost hitting two thousand dollars uh one thousand nine hundred and ninety one dollars you think this this you think this movement is caused by retail investors no that's no that is not the scenario retail investors are not causing the stock to move up it's big money Workhorse, what is Workhorse doing? Workhorse is down today, 20 cents. Not too much to say about that. Uh, Workhorse is going to be volatile for a while until there's big news or until there's some random person pumps the stock or you no know, random big money pumps the stock or shorts decide to cover the position. 
Then it'll move to the upside. Diamond Peak Holdings. Today up 16 cents, 1.11 percent. Not, I really don't have anything to say about that. Blink. Ooh, that's so brutal. If you were long on this, and you bought it at like twelve dollars, you must be butt hurt right now so much. But if you bought it at like five or six dollars, you'd be okay. You could sell out and still probably still take your profit and hope that it goes down lower. But if you bought it at twelve. 10 to 11 dollars you are butt hurt right now you also butt hurt if you just hold it long term and just lost all that uh profit Arkimoto Arkimoto up down 87 cents right now not too much to say about that um the solo the solo is down nine cents uh H Hennessy Capital Acquisition Corp uh down Five cents, uh, Spartan Energy. Sp oh yeah, uh, I was gonna make a dedicated video on this, but uh, I don't know. This stock, if it goes down to ten bucks, is a no-brainer. So the lower it goes, the no brain, the more no-brainer it becomes. Especially if you want to do the quick ten to twenty cents profit flip. Sure, you know. You can you can make away off like a bandit off ten cents I guess. Man, uh, that wouldn't really be called a bandit. A bandit would be like fifty percent or hundred percent return. S P A Q. Uh, the lower this goes, the no the more no brainer it becomes too. A V C O. Avalon Global Corp. Very volatile today. Don't know where the stock will go, but the uh. The lower it goes, the better, uh, the safer it becomes, in my opinion only. You can also swing trade it because it's a penny stock. It's up to you what you want to do. The volume was uh, decent today. It's uh, 1 million shares traded. Not as good as yesterday, but still decent. Uh, there's this again. A AMD, AMD popping today. Popping a dollar sixty four not too much to say about that Intel Intel is down today Nvidia is what is, why uh, Nvidia up two dollars and thirty one cents just kind of trading sideways today it popped it during the day and then it pulled back and trading sideways. It looks like Big Money doesn't want to abandon uh, Nvidia yet. Micron, Big Money is just fleeing out of Micron. Canopy Growth is down 36 cents. Aurora is down 34 cents. Afria is down 7 cents. 8 cents. Ture is down 16 cents. Cron is down two cents. Liberal Health Science today had a massive pullback, uh, profit taking. Uh, Harv is uh, trading sideways. Cresco Labs is trading sideways. Uh, Medman probably trading sideways. Yep. Uh, Kira. Trading side, whoa, down 52 cents. Uh, true, down 34 cents. Planet 13, down 30 cents today. Yep, not too much to say about that. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope, th yep, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.